Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on Figure Friday, instead of doing an unboxing, uh, which I will be picking up again next week, I'm going to be doing the sort of finished product for the Evolution SS Grenadiers that I was working on. So as you can see, the finished Farmer's Field section's done. Really happy with the way it came out. It was a, it was a really sort of simple idea, uh, but I thought it came out quite well. It doesn't look clean which is nice as fields sort of wouldn't but it's also not homogenous in how dirty it is i w was able to sort of disperse the different types of pigments from mig ammo and life color across the base unevenly which gives it sort of an interest and even along even along the side here where the cork gives that naturally uneven sort of clumpy earth look looks really really uh authentic so the figures turned out pretty well uh, I'm really happy with them, not more so than the Alpine, probably on par, but uh, since they came out at the same time and I finished them basically within a couple of days of each other, they, uh, they shouldn't look drastically different. Note the slight weathering on the sort of the, the rim of his, is that in his coat anyway, I'm not going to come up with the technical term right off the bat, but that's sort of echoed along around the boots, lower parts of the trousers. I knew with the white, I didn't want it to, because uh, the brown stands out so drastically on the white that I didn't want to coat it too much, just sort of have it pool around the knees. And these were actually pigment washes. It's not just straight pigment, it's pigment uh, thinned with mineral spirits applied onto the figure. Make sure though that you have applied your gloss coat before you do these anything with mineral spirits because it can uh, it can sneak under your acrylic and really ruin your day so yeah word of the wise on top of that uh, the whitewash on his helmet I thought it looked I thought it looks pretty good uh, that's just uh, sort of Vallejo model air white which is already thin thinned down to a milky consistency and then applied like they would done in field and i was i made sure to leave the areas that wouldn't be touched the the brim here when he like lays it down or when he picks it up or gets scuffed or whatever when he's just sort of carrying it around in in the transport or or in the barracks uh, so the top part though which is what would have been laid down the most or scuffed has been sort of laid bare and brought down not to the original paint per se but almost there yeah they look yeah they look pretty good oh yeah flesh tones were achieved with more so i'm happier with the flesh tones on these figures than i was on the alpine figures mainly because i smartened up and started using retarder along with the glaze medium and palleted the colors and blended them on the palette in a gradient that I could see on the palette, if you know what I mean. Like, like on the palette you've got, let's say your dark is here, and then you blend that with a successive, like the base color you add to the dark here, and then you can see the difference. And so then when you move on to the highlight by adding um, tan or uh, light gray or whatever it is that you're adding to the the flesh you can see it move along and progress and then if you need to go back and apply the sort of deep recesses that's sort of like one of the the finishing touches is applying the deep right recesses around the mouth the lips uh, the eye sockets nose ears things like that you can go back to the dark shade here and really take a look and see what you need to apply see what you need to mix see how close it is to that so that nothing comes out looking like like it doesn't belong like all all human flesh is gonna look like it belongs to the rest of it because it all grows out of the same person so yeah anyway that's my little rant about flesh there but yeah everything turned out pretty well i'm really happy with it i don't think i've said that yet <laughs> but uh yeah anyway um the ink washes can't say enough good stuff about them they just sort of pick out the shadows the buttons the the gear, the delineation between clothes really well because they're, they can become so fine with the miner, mineral spirit solution that, uh, you know, and then that on top of the fact that you get to clean up retroactively 
the the stuff that bleeds out or spills or you just sort of some areas you'd go over a little bit more haphazardly than others and then you can come back and clean up the areas that aren't touched by shadows or whatnot yeah worked out really well really happy with them they're going to be standing next to their brothers from alpine at uh, vancouver victoria this year so i'm excited about that we're building sort of a, a whole display this time of some of my finished stuff so i can just show like i get a lot of people coming to me at these shows and asking if i'm a if i'm a modeler and i i say yes but uh i guess they don't believe me so this time i'll actually have some evidence and sort of you know have something to talk about while people come around but yeah thanks very much for watching check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com links in the description below for resin figures like this and many many more like them uh we're on pinterest facebook instagram twitter and youtube so check us out Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.